My name is Claire Blue and I'm speaking to you all the way from Leicester and from Frozen House right here in the city centre. Today we're going to show you around our building so you can get a feel of what it's like if you come to live here. So we are here right now in one of our shared flats and this is our silver and platinum ensuite bedrooms. Today I'm just going to have quickly show you around the kitchen area. So this starts, you have the flat comes with sofa, TV, coffee table. And uh, this has been recently refurbished in 2017, so it's all very new. You have cupboard spaces, just like that. Okay, it usually comes with uh, two shelves, so three separate compartments to put all your spices, sauces, etc. Okay, and then it comes with your oven, and then you just it also is so it's a fan oven, a grill, and a low grill. And then you have an induction hob, so it's a four ring induction hob. So when you do arrive at Fraser House, you just need to make sure that your pans work with an induction hob. You can find these online or you can find them in the city centre at some of the shops also. Okay, um, and then above the hob there is an extractor pack. It, that takes away all the steam and moisture when you are cooking. Okay, it also comes with a microwave, toaster, and a kettle, so you don't need to bring any of those. You just need to bring your own crockery, pots and pans, etc. Okay, um, as well as the cupboards, you will also have a drawer each. As I said, this is a five person um, shared kitchen, so you have your own cupboard and you will have your own drawer. There is also a breakfast bar and stores, uh, so this is nice if you want to eat together, get your friends together, and there is also some handy storage just underneath the breakfast bar. Okay, if you want to come with me and we will have a look at our bedrooms. So we're now going to go to the platinum ensuite room. Would you like to follow me? This is the corridor. So as you can see, you have four bedrooms opposite each other and then there is another bedroom just down there on the right. Um, all the layouts are different to the flats, so if you like a specific layout then you can just contact us and we, will, we know how each flat is so we can advise you on what rooms will suit your taste. Come on through, this is the flat in the home suite. Okay, so these are our biggest ensuite bedrooms. Okay, it does come with a double bed. The size of the bed is 135 centimeters wide and 190 centimeters long. It also comes with a very large, nice desk space equipped with drawers. You have two, two drawers and one larger bottom one. It also comes with a um, TV aerial, so if you wanted to watch the TV, you would just need to make sure you have a TV licence. So in the UK, to watch the TV, you need to have a licence, and you can buy this online or at the post office. Um, it also comes with a socket, an extra socket with USB ports, and Ethernet connection, so if you wanted to hook your computer to the Ethernet. Okay, breakfast table and a bed light. You can adjust this like so. Okay, and a bookshelf. The windows, so this view of the building is facing the back. So you can, it has a great view of Leicester Cathedral, which lights up at night. And this is where King Richard III is buried. So you can go and see his tomb, it's really cool. And in the, open the windows, it's just like so. Okay, so we have a look in the bathroom. We'll have a look in the bathroom just now as well. This is your wardrobe space. You have rails and cupboard space there. This is the bathroom. This comes with toilet sink and it 
also comes with a power shower and you can adjust the shower head to different settings so if you wanted a uh, massage or fat all different types of settings and um, you can turn it turn it on one side and then you have the temperature on the other side of the shower okay right we will have a look now at our silver ensuite room okay just this way straight across the hall come on in so this room is just a slightly smaller ensuite room and um, it still comes with exactly the same furniture as what you just saw in the platinum it still has a good size desk the bookshelf bedside cabinet desk chair the drawers and it comes with a slightly smaller bed so this is a three quarter size bed and this is 120 centimeters wide and 190 centimeters long and um, however if you wanted to buy double bed sheets it would fit it just fine it, it's absolutely okay to use double bed sheets and then the wardrobe is also exactly the same Okay. And then the ensuite bathroom is also exactly the same. It also comes with a towel rail and then a robe hook and then some hooks in your bedroom also for your coat and your bags. Okay. There is also some storage under the bed um, to put your suitcases and boxes. There are no drawers under the bed, but there is plenty of space for you to put shoes, you know, suitcase and bags, etc. Okay, so now we will um, go back to the reception and you can have a look in the reception area, which is where we are all the time. Then if you want to come with me. To exit the flat, all the flats are exactly the same. There is just a lock here. So this door is currently locked. No one can get in unless they have a key. Uh, to get out the flat, there is a lock here. You just turn it to the left and then you open the door like that. Okay. To get into the flat, all you need is just your key. You pop it in like so. You turn it and that opens the door for you. Um, you will not, using your key, you will only be able to get into your flat, not anybody else's, okay? <laughs> okay, so we're now going to take the lift back down to the reception because we are on the fifth floor. And um, so we're going now down to the ground floor. So we may lose signal and we may cut out, but we will be right back, so don't go anywhere. Okay, follow me. So this is the ground floor area in one of the blocks. Um, this would be the way that you come into the building. Uh, there's also another exit, um, entrance exit to the building, um, and that gets you onto the main road to Newark Street. So you can walk one way to the university and the other way to the shops and the bars and restaurants. Um, so now we will go back to the reception. Follow me. So if you wanted to come and speak to us about anything, this is where we are based. Um, and now we will just talk to you about... Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Very you. Much. All right. I'd like to now just introduce you to Jane. She is the Customer Service Associate at Grosvenor House. And she will just have a quick chat to you. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So, 大家好. 我们是IQ,这是我们的接待会 
这是因为的，因为的时间是从早上的八点到晚上的八点。对。Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. All right. So she just gave you some information about the post and the parcels. Um, so now we will go over and have a look at one last room to show you today. And then we will also have a look at the common room space and the laundry space. So if you'd like to follow me and I'll show you there now. This is the main entrance to Grosvenor House. Obviously the doors are cat locked for your safety so that no one can just walk in. So you just need to use the black box, it will make a beeping sound and you can enter the building. Okay. This is just a corridor, this is where um, look, everybody can access this area because just through here is the common room and the laundry room. However, if you live in block E, you, no one can get past these doors unless you unless they live in this block. Um, so now I'm sorry, we're going to take the lift again to the top floor, the seventh floor. So we may come out and lose signal, so just bear with us and we'll be right back. Okay. And in each block there is a lift. So we have five blocks, and um, A block and B block are where the townhouse studios are. Um, so unfortunately there are no lifts in that block, it is three floors high. However block C, block D and block E are six and seven floors high, so there is a lift. <laughs> okay, come with me. I'm sorry if we lose signal, we will be back shortly. flat so this has opportunity to live with more students and to get to know your flatmates okay and we are on the very top floor so we're going to see some nice views over laughter okay. so this is what the corridor would look like you have five bedrooms that all face the same way and then you do have another bedroom at the back which looks the back of the building so the same view as the first bedroom we went into and all these rooms have a slightly different view so i'll show you um so this way into the kitchen now in the corridor as well it's very handy because we have uh, posters all about useful information so it will tell you your address if there is a fire it tells you where you need to go it also gives you our telephone number our email address and some information about the internet so if you are having problems with the internet there is the contact details is all here for you in your flat come into the kitchen okay okay so this is a slightly bigger kitchen because it is for six people and it does come with two fridges and two freezers. I'll just show you what that looks like. Okay. So there is enough space here for six people in both the fridges. They are exactly the same. And it does come with a bit of a feature wall, a nice teal turquoise colour. Again, it comes with very similar furniture to what you saw in the last flat. However, this flat is slightly older. This was refurbished in the year 2015. So this is why uh, the price for the room is a little bit cheaper uh, because you're not getting something as new as the silver and platinum rooms. Okay? And also, 
There is a hob in this kitchen. It's just a standard electric hob. So if you turn it on, you just make sure the switches are on and you can just turn it to the selected temperature that you require to get hot quickly. And again, it comes with exactly the same microwave, toaster and kettle. You just need to bring your own pots and pans, all right? And there is enough seating area for everybody in the flat, for all your flatmates. The cupboard spaces again the same, so there is a, cupboard, a top cupboard, a bottom cupboard, and a drawer uh, for yourself, and then your flatmate would have the same. The oven is exactly the same, there are two shelves to cook. Okay. There is also storage underneath the breakfast bar for extra items. Okay, that's the kitchen. So we will have a look, oh yeah, and um, we're just going to show you the view now. So this overlooks Leicester City Centre. Um, you have right where the big blue building is in the distance with the yellow, orange windows type. <laughs> uh, this is the train, the train station is right next to here. So the train station is about a 10 or 15 minute walk away. It's not far at all. Um, right at the opposite end of this view, so unfortunately you cannot see it, but that is um, De Montfort University uh, right there. And if you wanted to get to, you, to the University of Leicester, you would just walk down this main road here, keep walking straight up, and you will walk down a street called New Walk, and this will get you to the Le University of Leicester in about 10 15 minutes. Okay, um, yeah, so that's the fantastic view. So now we will have a look at the bedroom. Follow me. Okay, this is the bronze on street room. As you can see, it is exactly the same size as the silver ensuite, the second bedroom that we went to. It is the same size bed. And just to show you, um, obviously in the last room, we put some bed in and we made the room look nice. <laughs> but this is what the room would look like when you move in. So it will be, you know, empty, ready for you to decorate it as you want. So you will need to bring your own bed in, your own, um, you know, lamps, books, all that type of stuff. You need to bring all that. Uh, just to show you as well as the window, so it, it opens exactly the same, okay, to allow fresh air. And if you wanted to close, uh, shut away the light, you can just use your blackout blinds exactly like that. That. The furniture is exactly the same, so again, you have your desk space, uh, drawers, bed, uh, bedside cabinets behind you, and then the bookshelf is all here. Um, the wardrobe space is also the same. Okay, and again, we'll just quickly show you the view outside as well, because it's quite nice. It um, reminds me a little bit of Mary Poppins because you can just see all the chimney pops. <laughs> um, it's what you can see in the film, so it's, it's a nice view. And this gets the sunlight um, in the morning until about midday, this, this, this view. This view. Um, if you wanted the sunlight all day, you take a south-facing room, which is on the front road, so it will face the main road if you want a, a, a room that has sunlight all day. Okay, and then the bathroom is exactly the, very similar to the silver and platinum. They are all the same size. It's just that this is a slightly older um, oil suite, hence the cheaper price. Okay, right. So now we will go back downstairs and we will have a look at the common room and the laundry and then if anybody has any questions you can just ask oh one last thing in here to show you actually uh, because i haven't showed you how the heating works it's very hot today in leicester but if you did want to turn on the heating you have a heater 
just under the desk, right here, okay? And that will warm the room very, very quickly. So turn it on, you just need to press the switch here. There is also another switch at the side of the heater, just here. And then you will need to press the button in here to activate it. And this button will allow you to have two hours of heating. Um, because of fire safety, we can't allow it to be on all day. So if you turn it on, flip the switch here, and press the button here to turn on the heating. Okay, alright, so if you would like to follow me, and um, we will go back to the laundry room, in the common room. And again, to exit the flat, the lock is exactly the same as the last flat. You turn the lock and you open the door. We are going to go back down to the ground floor again, so if we cut out, sorry, but we will be right back with you. Okay. Going down. Doors closing. Um, so this is the way that you would get to the common room if you lived in Block E. If you'd like to follow me. Okay. Just through here, you enter two doors to get through. Mm -hmm. So this is our communal space. Okay. It comes with the four tables. Come to the study booths over here, um, and then you have TV, beanbag, seating area just in the, in the corner here. Um, so every month we will do an event for you, so there will be things going on. For example, we may have a pool tournament, so the chance to win some vouchers or some games, uh, some prizes. Um, so yeah, lots of things to get involved in here and we'll put that all on our Facebook or there'll be posters around the building to tell you what is happening on what night. We also do things like um, game nights, quiz nights at the beginning of the year as well and in the middle of the year we have a party so maybe uh, a DJ comes and, and plays music, they can have dance. And, and then we will have some, some wine, some beer, some pizza. And yeah, so just a chance for you to meet everybody that lives here. There's, there are approximately going to be around 275 students living here. There's many chances to meet new people here. You'll never be alone, okay? All right, so that's the common room area. Um, and this is open 24-7, you can come in and you know you can study or you can come in with your friends and, and if you want to bring some food in here then that's completely fine. Um, but yeah, we try to you know let people use it as much as they want, it's, it's your space which for you to do what you want. Okay, and then through here is a laundry room. <coughs> Okay, all right, quiet today. <laughs> and so you have four washing machines and there are four dryers. So this is your only extra cost uh, to live with us at IQ. Um, it costs £3.20 to wash the clothes and £1.70 to dry your clothes. So what you will need to do to use the washing machine is you'll need to download the app and because the washing machines are run by a company called Circuit and they handle everything. Um, so you just go to their website on your phone or download the app and you just scan the machine, you top, top up uh, your account with some money and then you just scan the machines just like so. Um, there's loads of useful information in the laundry to tell you what, how to wash certain items of clothing. Um, so it's and you know and how to how to use the machines it's quite handy and then again the laundry is open twenty four seven it gets quite busy at night time 
for some reason. So um, yeah, so at 10 o'clock at night, sometimes it's very busy. <laughs> okay, all right, so that's the tour. Um, we'll go back, just back in here now. So if anybody has any questions, you can type and I can answer them for you. So come through. And if anybody, does anybody have any questions that they would like to ask, we will sit here for a few minutes, just wait. There are no questions at the moment, but if anybody has any, we're, ha we're happy to wait for a few minutes. Yeah. So this is the area yeah. where Kirsty's just shown. We will leave it at that. So I just want to say thank you so much for joining uh, myself, Kirsty, and Mandy has been the lady holding the camera. So thank you for joining us, taking time out of your day. If you have any further inquiries or questions, you can of course contact us. Um, you can go to our website, which is iqsa.com. You have our telephone is there, you can talk to us on live chat, email, there's lots of opportunities to ask any questions, anything you have. Uh, also, we do have photos on our website, so if you want to see some more photos of the different room types that we've got, you can see all that on the website. Um, so yeah, so we'll leave it there, alright? Thank you very much for watching and we hope to see you soon. Bye!